Okay, go. It's okay? Yeah. Thank you. I love doing hair. <laughs> There's no love making people happy. Her name is, my full name is Basse Casina, and I'm hairdresser. Mm -hmm. And back home in Ghana, there were uh, hairdressers that because I love how to do hair, so I go there and sit down there and then help. So I started helping her. Mm -hmm. So that's when I found out I have passion about it. You know? Uh, doing it for friends and family, and then in UK, I turn into a business. You know, after you finish and you see the smile on the client face, you know, you know what? I have done something for somebody, so it's rewarding seeing people happy. I have clients all over Southampton, Portsmouth. All the shot here, Farnborough, Cumberland, so like walking, so it's like neighboring town. Yeah. Oh, my friend, my friend brought me here. Um, yeah, because I was asking her, my my coworker. Um, I was asking her, that, you know, like, so I just needed um, a bit of texture for my hair, not to process it, because I still need my, I still need to have my natural look. For about ten years now, I've been growing my hair natural, and it was really, really. So last year I just decided to um, cut it short just for, yeah, just for a new look. Um, and I really like it, so I just stuck to it. <laughs> yeah. So I might keep it for a while. And um, now that I find Zena, um, well, she can take care of it for me. So, um, yeah, I'll see what happens in the next year, what style I want to go for in the next year. But I, I get bored easily and I'm very adventurous. So, <laughs> so, so, so I, 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 whenever, I, whenever I feel like I just... I just change it, but um, I'm opting to keep it natural always, yeah, as much as possible. I don't have anything against people who want to new look or keep their hair straight or process their hair. No, because I used to do that myself. I used to do that, but um, I don't know. It just comes a time when I just want to be myself, and I don't think I was born with straight hair, so. I, I admire it, I mean, I admire, but um, if I was, then, yeah, if I was born with it, then that's fine, but um, I don't see the reason why I should change my looks or my identity. Uh, this is who I am, so, and I'm proud, so. Um, how does my hair affect my identity? Um, definitely not in a negative light. I have never received any bad comments on my hair. They've always been positive. So it just makes me feel when it's out in all its glory. I feel like a queen. I feel like other people acknowledge that and it makes me feel empowered as well. My hair doesn't affect my identity. It gives me identity. Um, it makes me who I am in my naturalist form. And I love it. I went natural because the chemicals were breaking off my hair. And it was just the, the trend back in the day. So on, on my 18th birthday, I cut all my hair off and I just had a bald head. I wasn't secure about it at first, but you know, this one guy walked up to me. He said, Normally, I don't like to see girls with them hair cut, but you look beautiful. And nobody couldn't tell me anything after that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, that's, um, 
Oh, yeah. he came in and then wanted to find out if I have a space for him. And I said, okay, so he started a few weeks and he liked it. And since then, we've been working together. Man, his dad was so funny. His dad was so funny last time, isn't it? It's me, Tony. But it's nice to have a dad like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never know. Maybe I'll become rich one day. <laughs> and I will not do the hair myself, but I'll still run the salons. Why do I can know that I could do horses in the back? Horses in the back. And you tell me nothing. 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 I want to start this now.